I'm Commander Cory, and this is my favorite playthrough on YouTube. Last time on Mass Effect Legendary Edition, Commander Cory Shepard has to prove to the Citadel Council that Saren, one of their Spectre agents, has gone rogue. Garrus Vicarian, a Torian CSEC officer, might be able to help her against Saren, but there's also the agent of a Shadow Broker named Barla Vaughn, who might be able to provide Cory Shepard with more information about Saren. Hello, my beautiful nerds, and welcome back to Mass Effect Legendary Edition right here on Missile Dine Online, where we are playing the game on Insanity Difficulty, the best difficulty to do so, and premiering new episodes every single day at 2 p.m. Eastern. Huge shout out to those of you watching in those premieres. It's awesome hanging out with you guys, and I sincerely appreciate you. In this episode, we are going to find two new squad mates to add to our team, and hopefully, find some evidence that proves that Saren is behind the Geth attack on Eden Prime. And once we do that, it's game over, right? Easy peasy. Of course not. Of course that's not going to happen. Anyways, let's jump into it. Commander Corey Shepard, the adept looking absolutely awesome. Anyways, let's move on and let's continue with the story of Mass Effect. I'm so excited because this one's not going to be as dialogue heavy. It's going to be a lot more action based, which is going to be pretty darn fun. So this right here is actually a side quest we can get. We're going to ignore it for right now. The reason for that is I want to have all of my squad mates available to me before we really do any of the side quests available on the Citadel. Anyways, first things first, we're going to use the Citadel Rapid Transit for the first time ever. This thing's so handy. We're going to head to the Presidium locations, and we're actually going to go to the Ward's Access. This way you get the, the full walkthrough instead of just, you know, teleporting to Korra's Den, which is where we have to go anyways. Uh, we are going to go ahead and show you where we are. This is actually over, right over there is the, the Relay Monument and the embassies that we walked down. Uh, but we're going to head down into the Ward's here. You'll see that there are keepers everywhere. You could definitely pick up that these side quests and not worry about it. Um, it's like an old, old Mass Effect original optimization thing to just wait until you have everybody. In but also, I think it's just going to be better. Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Oh, no. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. Well, when you got Commander Corey Shepard on the case, I think you those human colonies will be just fine. Remember, you can skip those if you don't want to listen to them, but I do. So we're heading down here into the wards. You'll be able to see that there's a, a bunch of stuff. This is worth doing just so that you kind of know where everything is. And it unlocks the fast travels for us later when we're actually doing the side quests and we want to hustle and get it all done. And we have one more elevator that we can ride. The team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. Hanar protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers, as the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. The excavation team has appealed to Hanar representatives on the Citadel to reach a diplomatic solution. So the Hanar called the, the old Protheans, the ancient race of Mass Effect, the Enkindlers. That's neat. We have another door right here. Remember, this is like a creepy little alleyway with a keeper in it. That's going to be useful information later. And uh, there's something else that's going to happen in there. It's going to be fun on a butt. Anyways, welcome to the wards. This, my friends, is the cedary underbelly of the entire citadel. Look at this. Big place. Good one, Hidden. That your professional opinion, sir? Yeah, well, he's right. This isn't a station, it's a city. There must be millions here. It can't be possible to track everyone coming and going. This makes Jump Zero look like a portage on, and it's the largest deep space station the Alliance has. Jump Zero is big, but this is a whole nother scale. Look at the ward arms. How do they keep all that mass from flying apart? Hmm. The council represents more races than I thought. No wonder they're careful with newcomers. They probably just want to keep everything running. It has to be hard keeping all these cultures working together. Or maybe they just don't like humans. Yeah, Why good not? point. We've got oceans, beautiful women, this emotion called love. 
According to the old vids, we have everything they want. When you put it that way, there's no reason they wouldn't like you. I mean, us. Humans. Ma'am. Oh. You don't take much shore leave, do you, LT? Hey, it's all right. All right, laugh it up, Chief. I appreciate the thought, Alenka, but we're on duty here. Uh, I, I ma'am. Yo, Kaden wants this. Kaden ain't gonna get this, him. but he wants this. Yeah, all right. Moving on. So there are a few different areas that we can go to. Of course, we're not going to go to any of those yet. Seasec Academy. If we head there, we will actually skip this whole next part of having to go to Harkin and all of that. We, you just don't even have to do it. We're not going to worry about that, and we're not going to go to this med clinic just yet either. Those are going to be where we need to go, uh, but we're kind of skipping some story bits to do that. We can, of course, go and grab this right here to get another codex entry in 12 experience. We can also talk to Officer Lang to get a little hey, bit more. I know you. You're Shepard, right? <laughs> yeah, I saw the yeah. monument at Akuz. Oh. They got a whole section about you there. It's a miracle you survived. Looks like you have a fan. I'm sorry. I just never thought I'd meet someone like you in person. Uh, my name's Lang, Officer Eddie Lang, Citadel Security. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. What are you doing down here in the wards? Anything I can help you with? Uh, yeah, can you actually tell me about this guy, Harkin? Do you know a CSEC officer named Harkin? I shouldn't really say too much. He's been on the force a lot longer than me. But I've heard things, you know? Drinking on the job, taking bribes, that kind of thing. Rumors mostly, but they suspended him, so some of it must be true. Interesting. Well, how, how do you enjoy CSEC? Why'd you join Citadel Security? I don't know. Seemed like the right thing to do, you know? Maybe it's in my blood. My grandfather was a cop back on Earth. It's kind of what CSEC is. Police for the Citadel. I'm still pretty new at it, but I like it so far. Way more interesting than staying back on Earth. You get to meet all kinds of cool aliens. Like those Hanar. Wild. Plus, CSEC <laughs> gets a lot of respect here. We uphold the law. People, even aliens, appreciate that. You know, I feel like the aliens probably think it's disrespectful to call them alien. Maybe I'm wrong. How do you like working here on the Citadel? This place is amazing. I've been here almost a year, and I still haven't seen a tenth of it. The Presidium's just so beautiful. Good place to go and relax. But I really like it here down in the wards. There's always something going on somewhere. Like that new club they just opened a few months ago, Flux. Wicked scene in there, Commander. You should check it out when you have some time. And we will, but not quite yet. Uh, what about Spectres? What do you know about Spectres? Just the stuff they show in the vids. They always make them out to be super agents on secret missions to save the galaxy. I know it's not really like that, though. Some of the other CSEC guys don't like them too much, figure they shouldn't be able to operate outside the law. But if they were so bad, the Council wouldn't use them, right? Well... I have to go. So-so. Right. You're probably real busy. Well, see you around, Commander. Good to, good to meet you, Officer Lang. I like that guy. Seems nice. Seems happy to be here. I like him. Anyways, we're going to continue on. And we are going to wait just a second. Commander Shepard? Excuse me, Commander Shepard. <sighs> yes, can I, can I help you? I'm Emily Wong. I'm an investigative journalist working here on the Citadel. Could I have a moment of your time? Uh, yeah, sure. What do you need? I've been hunting for evidence of corruption and organized crime on the Citadel, but there are places I can't go. I was hoping you might share anything you find during your own investigation. I can make it worth your time. Mm, why me? You gotta have access to better sources. Why contact me? I'm using every source I can find, but I think I've got a better shot with you. According to your file, you survived back on Akuz when everyone else in your squad got killed. Why does if everyone bring that up? find the worst elements of the Citadel and live to tell about it, it's you. Okay, but well, uh, what about these investigations? How do you know that my investigation is going to uncover anything you need? You wouldn't be investigating if it weren't big. And if it's big, it's something I'd like to hear about. Hmm. So she wants to know about Saren. But she doesn't... I mean, she doesn't... How do you know I'm not. investigating anything here on the Citadel? Exactly. I'm a good journalist, Commander Shepard. Word gets around. Yeah... We'll see. No promises, but if I find anything relating to your case, I'll inform you. Thank you, Commander. You won't regret it. Now, that is picking up a side quest, but we're not going to worry about that too much right now. Uh, it's just kind of perfect time to get it. I actually forgot that there is another codex entry we can get by coming over here, not going to the med clinic. Don't do that just yet. I mean, you can, but, you know, don't. And we can pick up this a view of the nebula. Hmm. That is pretty. Another codex entry in 12 experience. Man, you just gotta love it. 
all that all that xp it is worth getting xp we want to be about level four before we do too much more we still have so many points that i just i i'm just i'm hoarding them i don't want to i don't want to give them away just yet uh we could go up to flux which is a very cool bar but we're not going to just yet or nightclub i should say we're not gonna head there yet we are going to Cora's Den because that is where we can uh we can investigate or interrogate Harkin that that jerk I don't think you bought this anyways this is a nice so shop here we can talk to this Volus shopper best place on this board to buy upgrades oh really from expat here hello earth clan no doubt you've just come back from the colonies Will you be needing supplies? What do you mean colonies? What colonies are you talking about? Oh, my mistake, Earth Clan. I assumed it doesn't matter. Pharos? Novaria? Well, if you haven't heard of them yet, I'm sure you will soon. Okay, soothsayer. But it doesn't matter where you hail from. My goods are available to all. So we can actually ask him about Novaria and Pharos, which, by the way, are two of the three places that we go in this entire game. What can you tell me about Novaria? The corporate capital of the Attican Traverse. Very cold. Very snowy. I don't get too many clients from there. They all have their own private suppliers. That's right. Novaria is a place for manufacturers to manufacture in secret. I'd like to know more about Pharos. It's an old Prothean world. Their buildings still litter the surface. The humans aren't the first to colonize it. But they are the most recent. Hmm. I just realized I haven't heard from my contact on that planet for some time. This guy. Ah, uh, well, I'm sure he's fine. Yeah, I'm sure he is too. Oh, man. Show me what you've got. Most excellent. I am sure you will find something pleasing. Now, I do recommend that you talk to this guy and that you buy some stuff from him because he does have a license that we can get, the Elkos Combined License, which, remember, we want those licenses. They're very useful to us. Uh, of course, if there's any upgrades or anything like that, you can grab those as well. But you'll notice that a lot of these things are just a little more expensive than we can buy right now. We are going to skip talking to Conrad. Is that really... Wow, it's you. Yeah, it is. But we're going to skip talking to him just for now. It's so weird not to pick up any of these side quests, but I promise it's for a good reason. So we are going to come over here where we have another shop here, Moreland, that we can talk to. It looks like that's the only person down here. Hello there. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. Moreland. Many good supplies. Yes. I love Solarians, by the way. Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good things I have. You will see. Hmm. Let's see your items. So you have a Metagel upgrade. We need to pick these up so that we can get other Metagel upgrades later on. So let's go ahead and buy this. It's 200 Moolads. Metagel upgrade for us. Thank you so much. And we can buy an, right, an Alonis Risk Control License, which is yet another control. And then we need 3,000 to buy this Metagel upgrade too. Whew, that is quite a bit. And not something we can afford right now, unfortunately. So let's continue on and head to Korra's Den. Huh. Cora's Den, an autosave. You know what that means. Arrive. Oh, no! There's assassins right away! That's fine. We can actually kill these pretty quickly. Let's overload his. Boom, baby! Ooh, you got some stuff there. I bet you can't get... Whoa! Throw! So these are Turian assassins that are after us. I wonder why. What did we do? Definitely, definitely Saren's men. Let's go ahead and bury ourselves here. And go ahead and warp this assassin. Goodbye, my friends. Hmm. Those were Saren's men. Right outside of Korra's den. Interesting. A million light years from where humanity began, and we walk into a bar filled with men drooling over half-naked women shaking their asses on a stage. I can't decide if that's funny or sad. What? You don't think they're here because of the food? Oh. Hello. Um, what were we doing? What were we? I, I can, oh, there's a chair I can just sit here in. I'm gonna relax, relax a little. What were we doing? There is a reason we came to Korra's Den for 
We had to come here for something. There was. Does anybody remember? Was there? Was there a ring? Oh yeah, Harkin. Oh jeez, I got super distracted there. My bad. My bad. Anyways, uh, welcome. There's a person named Jenna here. Thank you, Jenna. Appreciate that. There's a bouncer. I got business Patron. here. Sorry, I thought he was a bouncer. Here. Okay, it was nice to meet you. General Septimus is here. Remember, Shaira told us to come talk to him, but we're going to ignore him for now. Not now. Watch the show. Trust me, ignore Septimus if you are level three at this point. You do not have enough points in Charm or Intimidate to do anything useful, so just don't talk to him yet. And, oh. Back off, Rex. Fist told us to take you down if you showed up. What are you waiting for? I'm standing right here. This is Fist's only chance. If he's smart, he'll take it. He's not coming out, Rex. End of story. This story is just beginning. Out of my way, humans. I have no quarrel with you. What was that all about? Who knows? Let's just try not to get caught in the middle. Huh. Interesting. I gotta be honest, uh, big fan of that guy right there. That guy looks super cool and I want to hang out with him and I want to be best friends with him and I want him on my side, so. The back rooms are private, reserved for Fist and his friends. Who was that other Krogan? What did that other Krogan want? Rex. Personal matter. Not real chatty, is he? Hmm. Who's Fist? He owns this club, but the customers have to stay out front. Fine, whatever, dude. Goodbye. Jerk. So you can actually the club. not see that scene at all. If you go talk to Bar Levon before you come to Korra's Den, you just don't see that scene. So uh, I highly recommend doing that. Speaking of Harkin, what's up, hey dude? Hey there, sweetheart. You looking okay. for some Are you fun? Right now, dude? I gotta say, that soldier getup looks real good on that body of yours. Why don't you sit your sweet little ass down beside old Harkin? Have a drink. Let's see where this goes. I'd rather drink a cup of acid after chewing on a razor blade. You trying to hurt my feelings? You gotta do better than that. After 20 years with CSEC, I've been called every name in the book, princess. Maybe you can help me. Harkin, right? I was told you could help me find someone. A Turian CSEC officer named Garrus. Garrus? <laughs> you must be one of Captain Anderson's crew. Poor bastard, still trying to bring Saren down, eh? I know where Garrus is. You gotta tell me something first. Did the captain let you in on his big secret? Oh uh, man, now I'm curious. Is there something I should know about the captain? The captain used to be a specter. What? Didn't know that, did you? It was all very hush hush. The first human ever given that honor, and then he blew it. Screwed up his mission so bad they kicked him out. Of course, he blames Saren. Says the Turians set him up. What went wrong? Why'd they kick him out? Have to ask him. I never heard any of the details. But it's a good story, though. The Heroes Fall. Classic tragedy. <laughs> so Captain Anderson actually was the first human specter, but you, you said don't they that. covered all this up. How'd you hear about it? I spent 20 years working cases here on the Citadel. People on this station love to talk. Secrets are like herpes. If you got them, might as well spread them around. That's gross. <laughs> You're a pig. Just noticed that now, did you? Why should I believe a drunk like you? Fine, ask Anderson. I bet he tells you. He's too stupid and proud to lie right to your face. Anyways, that's... I'm not Just here for that. Just tell me where Garrus went. Garrus was sniffing around Dr. Michelle's office. She runs the med clinic on the other side of the wards. Last I heard, he was going back there. What do you know about Garrus? Damn hothead is what he is. Still figures he can save the world. Always bucking heads with the Executor. He'll pay for it soon enough. The Executor loves to put us lowly field agents in our place. Just look what happened to me. You need to look in a mirror. Sober up and take some responsibility for yourself. Damn right. Save your sermons. This ain't no church. Good. Well, it is. I got to hear How well do you know Captain Anderson? Anyways. Met him a few times over the years. One of those hardcore military guys. Yes, sir. No, sir. Can't have any fun with a stick up your ass, sir. That's probably why he climbed the Alliance rank so fast. The military loves brown nosers. <laughs> the captain's a good soldier. Sure, whatever. Dress him in a fancy suit, pin some shiny medals on his chest, and call him a hero. 
everybody else does. But if he's so great, why'd the Spectres kick him out? Why'd you go ask him about that? Yeah, well, okay, but hey, I, well, I, I know you're kind of, but I kind of like your attitude, so what about Citadel Security? What's it like working for CSAC? You mean, what was it like? The executor suspended me without pay. Recurring violations. CSEC was keeping a file on me. Can you believe that? Yeah, no, that makes perfect Every sense. Every mistake I ever made went into the books. Get a little rough with a suspect, note in the file. Have a couple of drinks on duty, note in the file. Skim a couple of credits off a drug bust, note in the file. It's a goddamn witch hunt. Yeah, that's that's not what a witch hunt... You know, I know somebody else... Never mind. You get off easy if you ask me. What the hell do you know? Working for CSEC isn't like being a Marine. People get pissed off if we shoot somebody. Investigations, inquiries, rules, regulations. Every day I plow through enough red tape to choke a rhino. That's how you gotta be to do this job. So don't talk to me about right and wrong. You soldiers got it easy. I gotta go. I'm out of here. Also, while we're yeah, here, good. Go. we need to abolish the space police. <laughs> 122, 122 experience for talking to Harkin there. So if you had gone to the med clinic, that whole bit with Harkin just wouldn't have happened. I don't know. It's not true. Harkin's an ass, but he's just messing with our heads. You're probably right. Still, I'd like to hear what the captain has to say about all this. Anyways, let's go ahead. We're done. We're done with uh with Cora's Den. Now, General Septimus is there, like I said, but we're going to be skipping that for now and continuing on. There is a Citadel Rapid Transit. And we're going to go right to the med clinic. We don't have to walk over there. We actually unlocked it pretty much earlier by just kind of walking over and being in the proximity of the med clinic. We have arrived at the medical center in the wards. That is so fast. It's so fast now. Anyways, when you open the door, get ready for a little bit of a fight. I didn't tell anyone, I swear. That was smart, Doc. Now, if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or we'll... Who are you? Let her go. Nice shot, Garrus Vicarian. I smell trouble. And right out of the gate, let's go ahead and throw. And let's throw on this one too, just so that we can get rid of them just a bit. Perfect. And let's see if we can get a sabotage in there. Nice. And a big old overload on this guy. One down. What's that guy doing? Get out of there. Get out of the get out of the sky. Looks like we only have one more. Let's go ahead and pop this fire hazard, fire containment. Thug is dead. Yeah, that was you guys got toasted. Nice job. I've never been a real fan of crowds. Okay, that has nothing to do with here? anything. And real quick, let's just go ahead and replenish our meta gel. Thank you so much. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. Dude, and a good shot you took. What were you thinking? You could have hit the hostage. There wasn't time to think. I just reacted. I didn't mean to... Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you. All of you. Yeah. Who were those men? Why were they threatening you? Who do they work for? They work for Feast. They wanted to shut me up. Keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. Hmm... What Quarian? What Quarian? A few days ago, a Quarian came by my office. She'd been shot, but she wouldn't tell me who did it. I could tell she was scared, probably on the run. She asked me about the Shadow Broker. She wanted to trade information in exchange for a safe place to hide. Where is she now? I put her in contact with Fist. He's an agent for the Shadow Broker. Fist is? Not anymore. Now he works for Saren. And the Shadow Broker isn't too happy about it. Fist betrayed the Shadow Broker? That's stupid, even for him. Saren must have made him quite the offer. That Quarian must have something Saren wants. Something worth crossing the Shadow Broker to get. She must have something that proves he's a traitor. Did the Quarian mention anything about Saren or the Geth? She did. The information she was going to trade. She said it had something to do with the Geth. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the council can ignore this. We need to Time find her. Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. 
but I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. Why do you hate him? You're a Turian. Why do you want to bring him down? I couldn't find the proof I needed in my investigation, but I knew what was really going on. Saren is a traitor to the Council and a disgrace to my people. Yeah, he is! Welcome aboard, Garrus. You know, we aren't the only ones going after Fist. The Shadow Broker hired a Krogan bounty hunter named Rex to take him out. Yeah, we saw him in the bar. Yeah, we could use that muscle. The Krogan might come in handy. Last I heard, he was at the CSEC Academy. What's he doing there? Fist accused him of making threats. We brought Rex in for a little talk. If you hurry, you can catch him at the Academy before he leaves. Move out. Nice. So we're actually going to leave uh, Hayden and Ashley in our squad for now, even though, oh boy, do I. Yeah, but just for now, just for now. Trust me, there's a reason for it. And let's go ahead and talk to Dr. Chloe Michelle. I never properly thanked you for saving me from Fist's thugs. Ah, don't away. worry about it. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't been there. I'm happy to help. I'm just glad you weren't hurt. Me too. Now, was there anything you needed? Yeah, I'm curious about you. You're a doctor. How did you end up here on the Citadel? My parents brought me here when I was young. My father was a medic with the Alliance. I chose to keep the medical tradition alive, but not the military. Fixing up wounded soldiers isn't my idea of fun. Interesting. You and Chakwas are totally I'll be different. Going now. Same haircut? Goodbye, totally different. Nice talking to you. Nice, nice to meet you. I'm glad we could help you out. So there's a Quarian that has information, evidence that literally says Saren is working with the Geth. So that's a pretty big deal and uh, definitely something that we need to find. But to do that, we need to find Fist and take Fist out. I think we can do that. I think we can beat Fist up. So we got more Codex entries there, more XP. We should be pretty close to level four. We're very, very close. We should be able to get that in no time. But before we end up heading to CSEC, I actually want to go ahead and uh, head back to the Presidium and maybe talk to Barla Vaughn before we pursue Rex at CSEC. Now, obviously, you don't have to do that. You can go directly to CSEC and uh, and go get him. But we're not. We're gonna go to the financial district. We're gonna meet up with Barlavon and see if there's anything else we can learn about Fist, Rex, the Shadow Broker. These are pretty important things at this point in the game. Hello, Mr. Barlavon. Is there anything I can do for you today? I need Commander? your help. Well, actually, I don't really need you. I I need information. I heard you work for the Shadow Broker. Do you have any information about Saren? You're very blunt, Shepard. But you're right. I am an agent for the Shadow Broker. And I do know something about Saren. Oh, yeah? Can we make a deal? I hear your information can be expensive. Normally, this information would cost a small fortune. But these are exceptional circumstances. So I am going to give it to you for free. Oh, Barla Vaughn. What's the catch? There is no catch. The Shadow Broker is quite upset with Saren right now. They used to do a lot of business until Saren turned on him. Yeah, he's not the only one. Saren's turned on a lot of people lately. I don't know the details, but the Shadow Broker hired a freelancer to deal with it. A Krogan mercenary. Rex? I think I know him. His name's Rex. Yes, I believe he's the one. I heard he was paying a visit to Citadel Security. If you hurry, you might catch him before he leaves the CSEC Academy. Why is he there? Isn't it strange that a Krogan would want to speak with CSEC? Very. However, I doubt the visit was entirely his choice. You'll need to speak with him if you want to know more. Can you tell me any more about the Shadow Broker? Tell me more about the Shadow Broker. Most people think I deal in finances, but my real currency is knowledge. I trade information, and it has made me very wealthy. But the Shadow Broker is the true master. Every day he buys and sells secrets that could topple governments, always giving them to the highest bidder. Yet somehow he never seems to upset the natural balance of power. All those secrets being passed around seem to even out. Nobody ends up with an advantage in the end. Hmm. Any guess what his identity might be? I wonder if I there's a know. Shadow Broker in our Nobody real life. Does. A Shadow Broker could be any race, any gender. I have a theory that it's actually an entire group working under one identity. 
How else could they juggle so many contacts at the same time? How else could they keep all that information from getting crossed? But they've got the perfect setup. Every government is forced to play their game so they don't get behind. But no matter how long you play, no matter how many secrets you buy, you can never win. But you're his agent. I thought you'd know more about the man you work for. From time to time, I come across information I sell to the Shadow Broker. That's my only involvement. I like it that way. The more you know, the more dangerous the game becomes. I don't like danger, Commander. I'll leave that to you. I actually love Barlavon's voice actor. I think he's so I good. Go. Does such a wonderful job. Goodbye, Commander. Thank you so much. And he doesn't offer anything else if you ask him about the Citadel or anything. There's no new information. So if you've already talked to him, you already have all the codex entries you can get. So we need to go to CSEC. So let's use the Citadel Rapid Transit and we're going to go to the Med Clinic because that's the fastest way to get over to the CSEC area where we want to go anyways. Guys, we are about to get a, yet another squad mate. And also, I wanted, to, I wanted to point out that the Shadow Broker stuff, while not being super, super important in this game, it's obviously important right now, but the next game in the series, which we will, of course, be doing a series on, um, Mass Effect 2, it's a pretty big deal when you find out about the Shadow Broker. So, looking forward to it. Hey, Commander Shepard. Good to see you again. Anything you need? I have to go. Right. You're probably real busy. Well, see you around, Commander. I wanted to check to see if Officer Lang said anything new, but he does not. So let's go down this really ominous hallway. I feel like Resident Evil lasers are going to come out, and it's fine. And we can go into this elevator and finally head Binary to Binary Helix has settled out of court with a Krogan group that had accused the Genetics Corporation of fraud. The Krogan group had contracted Binary Helix to perform studies with a long-range goal of curing their genetic sterilization. The group later sued for a return of investment money when the study produced no viable results. That is, of course, how they dealt with the Krogan Rebellion. Something called the Genophage, which we will learn a lot about. Krogan. Mass sterilization. How awful. Anyways, before we head over to meet our dear friend, our new friend, Rex, let's talk to this requisition officer down here. Looking you up. Hi. Commander Shepard, here with the Alliance Military. First time on the Citadel, that about right? That sure is. How did you know all that? I'm the CSEC Requisitions Officer. I need to make sure our buyers are authorized. So, will you be purchasing anything today, Commander Shepard? Yeah, what do you got? Show me what you got. Excellent. I hope you find what you're looking for. Now, something really cool about this guy is that, not in this episode, but in the next episode, we'll be able to get some really cool stuff from him. Well, we won't actually be able to, but... This is the guy that we're going to want to come to for those things. Anyways, we can pick up a grenade upgrade, which permanently increases the maximum number of up, uh, grenades we can carry. And we can pick up the Aldrin Labs license. Thank you for those licenses. Appreciate your face. Anyways, let's go see if we can meet up with our dear friend Rex. Remember, the next episode, well, not the next episode, but we will have an episode that is dedicated entirely to the side quests that you can do here on the Citadel. So let's go ahead and talk to Rex. Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. You want me to arrest you? I want you to try. I love him so much. Go on. Get out of here. Do I know you, human? Uh, no. My name's Shepard. I'm going after Fist. Thought you might want to come along. <sighs> Shepard. Commander Shepard. I've heard a lot about you. We're both warriors, Shepard. Out of respect, I'll give you a fair warning. I'm going to kill Fist. Fist knows you're coming. We'll have a better chance if we all work together. My people have a saying. Seek the enemy of your enemy. You will find a friend. Welcome aboard, Rex. Glad to have you on the team, Rex. Let's go. I hate to keep Fist waiting. Oh my gosh. Garrus and Rex are now in our... Man, that just makes me so happy. Uh, unfortunately, we're not going to be putting Erdnot Rex on our 
squad just yet. The reason for that is unless you are playing a Renegade playthrough, I don't recommend having Rex or Fist. Um, and you'll see why when we get there. So keep that in mind as we as we proceed on. So also, there is another area over here that we can head to. Uh, and there are no codex entries right here. There is Jalid over here, Jalid, um, which offers a side quest that we're not going to worry about just yet, because remember, we are going to have that episode that's dedicated entirely to just side quests. But up here, we can get some codex entries. Uh, also a keeper. Keep that in mind that there's a keeper up here. We can examine these tracking terminals for codex entries and XP and actually get 36 extra XP and a weapons locker here that we can examine for another 12 XP. So 50 XP almost just by coming up here and talking to these guys. So we're going to continue back out. We don't need to be here anymore. We're all good. We can now head to Korra's Den. Back to Korra's Den now that we have Rex and Garrus on our squad. Not in our active squad, but in our squad. I also want to point out that right there, that elevator leads back to the Presidium locations where the embassy is, and this leads to the dock. But we're going to head back right over here and use this Citadel Rapid Transit. And let's head to Korra's Den. Let's do it. And in the next episode, we will go ahead and tackle Korra's Den, taking down Fist and seeing if we can find this Quarian and hopefully get the evidence that will take Saren down and prove he's been working with the Geth. And then the following episode... Guys, I, I promise you there are some really good episodes coming up and then we'll come back to the Citadel and do all the side quests and stuff. Don't worry about it. I promise it'll be it's a full completionist run and we will get that completionist trophy. Just you wait and see. Thank you guys so much for watching. A huge shout out to those of you watching in the premieres every single day at 2 p.m. Eastern. Sincerely appreciate you guys and I love hanging out with you. I also want to give a shout out to our patrons over on patreon.com slash online. Without you, this series would not be possible. So thank you guys so much. I love you very much. Never give up. Never surrender to the Shadow Broker. Nailed it. Nailed it again.